G'day team, welcome to another video. All right, so this is something I just went through and I decided that it needs its own video. So if um, if you've been an idiot like me and you download a file and um, you drag it into the job and then realize that it's actually got no types attached to it. So I found, um, so Trend is a local window manufacturer. They've got some resources for specifiers such as us and I downloaded the uh, zip files for the uh, the quantum Revit series. So you go and drag one of these into the job and then it's going to do a little upgrade and then say we'll place it here and then we have a look and there's actually no type. So then you think oh, that sucks. You have to go through and remake a bunch of them and, and you know spend a bit of time. But there's actually a very important step that you may be missing. So Let's just purge this, uh, purge what we just loaded in. Okay, so now the way that we're actually going to load this window is go to window, load family, and then locate that, that, that Revit file that we were trying to load from. Okay, so you see this is the, this is the right one. But what we can't see is it's actually a text document here. So what this text document is, is actually a list of all of the parameters for all the different types of, uh, of windows that this, you know, this manufacturer does. So if we use this method of loading the family, then we get this super secret, special and very helpful window where we choose which of these types we actually want to import. So it seems like they're all single glazed. It looks like it goes up to 2124. There's no major jumps in that. So if I highlight all of these and go, okay. Um, and then it's just asking that there's going to be tons of tons of types. Are we sure we want to load it in? And we'll say yes in this case. So there, and now click on that. And now we can see there's actually an absolute boatload of types, which they included. They just didn't include it in that that single Revit file because it's much, much easier to upload and download a small file, which then just has a type catalog attached to it rather than upload a Revit file and download it, which has a million different types. So yeah, it's just a, just another way of doing things. Um, potentially you've downloaded something like furniture or some electronics thing in the past, which will have a bunch of types. And then you've had to go and remake a bunch of them because you didn't know about this method. But yeah, this works for pretty much any component. Um, so if you download it and it has a text document, that's what it's for. And that's why. So yeah, I hope this helps and um, yeah, talk to you all soon. Thanks for that. Bye.